Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. Today I did a little harvesting. Our uh, onion bed was just taken over with weeds. So I got in there and tried to weed and pulled up a bunch of the onions. Then I noticed a lot of them were already dead. So I just pulled them up. Our biggest one is like this size, which is not very big. I'm very disappointed, but waste not, want not is my motto. So we're gonna chop all these onions up and what little garlic we got. We planted a ton in the fall last year, but someone named Beverly Ball let the chickens in the garden to scratch and pick weeds. And they also scratched up my garlic. So I didn't get very much, but enough to do us for a little while. So we're gonna get started getting these onions cleaned up, chopped up and this garlic. All right, we're just gonna get busy cutting the tops off. Well, all I'm gonna do since they're so small is chop the tops off and um, wash them, chop them, cut them up because um, these are not big enough to last. They're so small. It's more, they're more like a shallot. I'm just gonna take that outer skin off, wash them, and then we'll set them back over here. We'll wash our cutting board and everything when we're done. But like I said, my motto is this one probably could have made it if I could have got the weeds around it. But a lot of them were like, let's see, let me find one. This was already dead. I was really surprised. So I just went ahead and cut them. I thought, you know what? We could plant more. We've got three volunteer tomatoes in that bed. And I thought, you know, we'll just let those tomatoes have that space. Anyhow, waste not, want not, though, is my motto. I don't like wasting anything. And this will be, even though it's a little amount, will be good for a few recipes. Wayne doesn't care for onions, so it may be more better for more than a few because he'll eat it if, it's, if they're good and cooked down, but if they're not, forget it. I hate that I didn't get any big onions, guys. I don't know what happened. Probably the weeds taken over, kind of killed these back. But this is an old bed from last year. And let me tell you, the weeds just decimated that bed. I'm hoping I got it where those tomatoes will make it now because they were choking out everything and they just happened so fast. I've weeded it several times already this year. We also got a little garden surprise I'll show you um, in just a minute. Uh, I was very shocked because something I planted last year, I guess it either made it through the winter or something. And anyways, we got a little garden surprise. I think I'm just gonna stack them over there and then when we get done, I'll go back and rinse them all off because this is gonna take forever. I think I'm gonna grab my trash can too so that I can just slide all this in the can. This is the kind of weed taking over that bed. I mean, I bet I pulled, I gave it all to the chickens. They were going crazy on it, but um, anywho, I uh, don't know what it is. It's a very pain. It comes really thick and heavy, and uh, I don't know what it is, but anyways, I've never had really good luck with growing really big onions anyways. I don't know what I do wrong or what I need to do different, you know, but this will be good to have in the freezer. I mean, I'm definitely not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. These onions are a blessing. We don't eat that many of them, but it's nice to have them in the freezer. All right, we're getting all these onions. We got a clean cutting board again. I got it washed off and I'm getting all these little onions, giving them a good washing here. 
because that cut mortar got so nasty, it was making everything dirty. I'm just gonna give those a really good portion. I mean, they're small guys. I'm really ashamed to even show y'all this, but my motto is waste not and want not. And so anything I can get anything out of, I do it. And um, grocery store prices are so high. I mean, this will make a couple batches of salsa anyway. Uh, it's just crazy to me. And I'm just thankful to have a little harvest, if that makes sense. And if I wouldn't let those weeds take over, no telling what would have happened, but I did. And so here we are with our little onion harvest. <laughs> I have a bag of green onions. I'm going to add this too because I just mix them whenever I'm adding them to recipes. I put these in yesterday out of that one potato bed that I pulled. So we'll just add these to those and chop them up and get them in the freezer. I love having chopped onions in the freezer because it makes life easy when you need a little bit for a recipe and you can just reach in, measure out what you need and pop it in the skillet. That is nice. So this is kind of a treat for me to have these in the freezer. It saves me so much time later. I always freeze my onions because we don't ever grow enough to, um, you know, for them to last long. So. I just freeze them, and then when I need some, I get them out, you know, for salsa or chili or just what have you. these in the bag and we'll just keep chopping. We're taking up all my space. <laughs> Smell nice and oniony. <laughs> I have been very poor in my life, and I can remember this brings back a memory to me. Um, my grandmother Walker, she always had these, I don't know what variety or anything, of these winter onions. And so many times that I would go over there because she would be like, you just help yourself anytime you need any of them. I would go over there and do this very thing that I'm doing right now to those winter onions and freeze them up so that I'd have them for recipes and I didn't have to buy onions very often. But that brought me back because uh, she knew how I struggled and uh, you know, it was, we, I've had some really hard times in my life. And so this just kind of reminded me of chopping up those winter onions.
this this one off and we'll, this little job will be done and we'll have I'd say probably four or five cups of onions in there. I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, looky there, guys. Not bad. I mean, I was hoping for way more, but this is what we got. So we're going to use what we have. Okay, now we're going to go on to the garlic. Okay, here are some that I found in the... Um, I'm just gonna kind of pop them apart and we're gonna lay them on a towel to let them dry. That's all I'm gonna do with these garlic. I just want them to dry out, cure. I'm just gonna pull them apart. We're gonna lay them over here on a towel and I'll show you what we got in the end. Oh, there's another onion, fiddle. Gonna chop that off and lay it on there. We got some nice big heads of garlic, just not a lot of it. Just not a lot. You can also maybe hang these, bend them over and hang them. I've done it on my fence roll before. Um, you know, just different things. These are already off so we're gonna i've had to dig around the some of them didn't even have any tops left on them no more than i got that's why i'm doing it this way if i had got a ton of garlic i would have hung it on my fence and let it cure but we didn't so we are just going with what we have here. Just going with what we have. I found some more onions, so I'll chop them and add them to the, the mix. All right. Here's our small little garlic harvest. This will last us quite a bit though, because um, some of these are really large and I won't use a whole clove, but I'm just gonna leave them sitting here on this towel till they kind of dry out. And then I will store them now for the surprise that I found in the garden. I was super like, what, where did that come from? But I found three of them. It had to have been from last year's carrot planting. We missed or something, but we got three carrots. I'm just going to cut these and put them in the fridge and we'll eat those. But hey, waste not, want not. I'm just going to cut the tops off of them and stick them in the refrigerator. We'll wash them when we want to eat them. All right. Now what we're going to do is we have quite a few veggies that we've gotten from the garden. We're gonna make a veggie stir fry. Nothing but vegetables, but they're all gonna be from the garden. And that always gets me excited. I love fresh zucchini sauteed just in some butter and some seasoning. It's heaven to me, but I have broccoli, onions, peppers, zucchini, and we're gonna put all that in the pan and sizzle it down and we're gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I love doing stuff like this when we have a lot of fresh vegetables. So let's get started. All right, we're just gonna start out by putting about a half of a stick of butter in our pan over here. And we're gonna set it on the stove and let it start melting. This will come together really quick cause I'm not gonna make a huge one. Cause like I said, y'all know, it's just Wayne and me. I went through and washed these little carrots. These are the ones we picked out of the garden. I'm gonna add them to it. I mean, we're going to add them first because they're going to take the longest to cook down. I love playing what my oldest daughter would say, chopped with stuff we get from the garden. It's like, 
I just love doing it. Seeing what I can come up with to make with all these fresh, yummy garden veggies. So we're gonna throw our handful of carrots in there. Oops. Next, we're gonna chop our onions up. I, I saved out uh, four of these small little onions. Well, I didn't purposely, but they were in the bottom of that. And I thought, you know what? We'll just put that in our stir fry. It'll give it a nice, lovely flavor. And I'm just going to chop those up. You could add some chicken to this and it would be lovely. But sometimes I just like to make vegetable stuff. Especially because we don't eat supper at night, but sometimes I like a little snack and this would be a light, delicious snack to have in the afternoons. So now I'm gonna cut this pepper up. We're gonna cut this poblano up also. And we're gonna add those to the pot. Already smelling wonderful, guys. Something about onion sauteing. Mm. Always smells so wonderful. We're gonna add these to it. Now we're gonna cut this poblano pepper up. Because we need to use it to get the seeds out. And just cut that baby up. And that's it. I'm going to add a lot of flavor. We like some flavor around here. All right, we're going to chop up some of these broccoli crowns. I have a ton of these and I've got to start using them. Just chop some of those up, throw the big stock away. Well, I'm in little kind of bite-sized pieces. These were some of the side shoots that come off our second or third cutting. But I still have a couple of gallons that we need to use up or I need to get in a freezer somewhere. But we're starting to use a little bit of our meat, so maybe I can make some spice in there for it. But I think it'll stay good for quite some time because it's very fresh. All right, we're gonna add this to it. I think I'm gonna do just a little bit more. I think I'll just do the rest of this bag so we're using it up, getting it out of the fridge. Smells lovely, guys. Very lovely. So we're fixing to do just that. I love sauteed zucchini. It's so delicious. I chop these two up and throw it in. Okay. Now that we 
we've got everything chopped. I think I'll chop up a clove of garlic too. This is some of our garden garlic we collected today. Might as well use some of it. All that garden freshness, right from our backyard, friends. Mmm, smells wonderful. Let me give it a quick rinse. I have a press, but I'm just gonna chop it up. Okay. season this up. I think I'm gonna do a little Montreal. Oops. Trying to turn that fan off. I got it. Um, this burner had something on it. Montreal chicken seasoning. Um, got here some onion powder. I think that's it, guys. We've got pretty much everything else in here. I'm gonna turn it back up a little bit now that I'm over here. And we're just going to let this cook until everything's nice and tender. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, our veggie stir fries cooking down really nicely. Or getting a little bit of brown on our zucchini. And that smells amazing, guys. So good. And every bit of this come right here from the homestead. Right in our backyard garden. I really can't wait to taste this because it smells so wonderful. And if you wanted to make this like a big meal for a family, all you need to do is chop up some chicken, some of your home canned chicken, just whatever, and toss it around in it, and bam, you got a, a nice, delicious, fresh meal right from your backyard, garden, or whatever. But we got a pan full of food here. And I'm just going to let it go for another minute or two. And we're going to call it good because it is pretty well cooked down. These, these carrots are soft. The zucchini soft. I do want to get some of those bigger pieces kind of on the bottom to sear just a little bit more. But I, this is how simple a meal could be for you and your family just from your backyard goodies. And it's it's going to be delicious. This is my kind of favorite stuff right here. All right, guys, we're going to call that good. We're going to top it with a little cheese and it's going to be delicious. All right, guys, there you have it. Our garden goodness right here in a bowl, ready to eat. All right, friends, thank you for stopping back by our homestead. I hope this recipe gives you some ideas to use some of your garden vegetables up. Until next time, goodbye.